Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will tell you about the top 10 digital forensic artifacts on Linux computers. There are so many distributions and flavors of Linux operating systems. However, the underlying concepts and inner working of the OS remains the same across distributions. Once you are aware of the top forensic artifacts on a Linux computer, where to find them, and how to process them, you will easily be able to perform forensics across any Linux distribution. Are you excited to get started with Linux Digital Forensics? I am sure you will have a lot of fun. Here are the top 10 Linux forensic artifacts that you must know about. We recommend that you always begin an investigation by retrieving system information. Knowing which Linux distribution type and operating system you are presented with will help you get a mental map of the working field you are on. It is important to also identify the Linux kernel version in use, as this will help you become aware of the features associated with the OS. On every Linux machine, there is a dedicated folder to store a number of logs like system logs, kernel logs, service logs, etc. The contents of these log files are a rich source of forensic evidence. The next important artifact is shell history. A shell on a Linux machine is similar to the command prompt on a Windows machine. This is where a user would type commands to interact with the system. Every command typed by a user is stored in a special file in a specific location. Accessing that file and processing its contents is extremely valuable to identify if any unfavorable commands have been typed on the system recently. Linux machines have a special feature where you can hide a file in plain sight simply by adding a dot in front of its file name. This feature was introduced to protect critical system files from accidental modification. Cyber criminals misuse this feature to hide tracks of their malicious activity. Linux commands can be used to fish out all hidden files on a machine. Generally speaking, we recommend that you analyze files and folders for backdoors or other indicators of a compromise. Multiple users can have user accounts on a Linux computer, just like in Windows. During a forensic investigation, it is important to identify all the users and groups on the machine and validate them. Cyber criminals create backdoor accounts for their use that can be identified by a skilled forensic professional. For everyday activities on a Linux computer, numerous applications like web browsers, email clients, etc. would be used. Most applications on a Linux computer store logs relevant to user activity. Identifying the installed applications, acquiring their logs and processing them would be extremely beneficial during a forensic investigation. A Linux computer can connect to the internet over a wired connection or over a Wi-Fi network. It can also make connections to Bluetooth devices. It is possible to find forensic artifacts of all the network connections made by a Linux computer. Linux computers are capable of running web services, file transfer services, remote connectivity services, etc. Each service runs with its own configuration and maintains a log of its activity. During a forensic investigation, identifying the active services, acquiring their configuration and logs, and processing them is extremely valuable. When external storage devices like hard drives and USB sticks are connected and disconnected from a Linux computer, they leave behind information like manufacturer details and serial number. This data is helpful to track down whether suspicious devices have been connected to a Linux computer at some point. This is particularly useful in settings where it is prohibited to connect external storage media to a computer. It is possible to connect to a Linux computer remotely or to even remotely share a specific folder. This feature has been misused by cyber criminals to create and manage malicious remote connections. Knowing where to locate artifacts relevant to remote connections is a very important forensic skill. I hope you have a very good idea now about the top digital forensic artifacts on a Linux computer. Are you looking forward to performing these tasks practically? I invite you to visit MCSI's library where you can find a number of articles on Linux digital forensics. You can find the link in the description box below. In addition to the artifacts we discussed, there are many more sources of forensic evidence on a Linux computer. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.